G'day and welcome back to The Breakdown. People have been rattling on about the spine in rugby league for ages. Today we're going to give you a closer look at it when we examine the game that happened on Sunday night at Suncorp Stadium between the Storm and the Titans. How did the 1, 6, 7 and 9 interact? As we roll the footage here, the defence wasn't great, but my goodness, the interaction between these guys was amazing. Cameron Smith early to dummy half, but let's have a look. Where are they? 1, there is Kronk. Here's Slater out the back and Munster. The interaction between these four guys from both teams was amazing. Roll the footage. We see we go to the play out the back and Munster goes all the way to the line. Certainly he's going to play out the back to Slater and he's going to interact with Chase Blair. Roll the footage. Bump old Matty. Wrong. Short ball to Torhu Harris. Slater pushes up on the outside. Vintage, vintage Melbourne footy. No wonder they're very happy. I love this bit of footage. Look, Cameron Smith, a feature, and we'll watch Pete's do the same. How early he gets to dummy half. He doesn't get there late and come up with a panic pass. He's looking around, assessing what's going on in front of him the whole time. They played at Conrad Arell, and then over to Pete's constantly. Little dummy pass there, and as you pause, have a look at this guy. He's already on his bike. They're not playing to him. Pete's gets caught up here with Glasby. Watch Slater through the middle. Love this bit of play. Roll the footage. Look at that. Cooper Cronk knew exactly what was happening. He was sprinting before Slater got the ball. A great bit of interaction. The big three, absolutely no doubt about it. Watch again. Have a look here. There's Cronk. What's he up to? Billy's having a playoff. Why wouldn't he? Watch this. We go to Munster, the young Munster. He's amazing, this kid. Inside ball at Glasby. Kronk again on his bike, great support play. He knew exactly what was happening before it happened. Again, the interaction between these guys is just spot on. See the push there? Cameron Smith looking around. Slater's got his hand up, dummy. Oh, Cooper has taken off. You very rarely see this. Gets called offside. It may have cost them the game if you think about the final score. He's gone one step too early, but still amazing interaction. Roll the footage, beautiful kick there by Slater. Didn't need to be that early on it, Cooper. This is a replay. Cronk at first receiver, Cameron Smith moves to second receiver. This is after a triple shift in the set. They did it exactly the same thing against the St. George Dragons a week before. Roll the footage, plays out the back. Slater, long ball, early ball to Chambers. Dummies saw the same thing last week. Not a mistake, but the Storm playing with a lot more shift these days. Into the line they go. Just watch this set. Smith there already, looking around, assessing. Look at the adjustments out the back. Jordan McLean. Okay, they're going at Conrad Arell. That was a process they went through this weekend. And a lovely play out the back. They knew they were going to be strung for numbers there. Again, look at Cooper Cronk pushing through the middle of the field. Very, very happy. Some outstanding storm play there. Cameron Smith, he's a pretty chilled guy. Laying an egg. He wasn't very happy at the end of the game, I can tell you. Muck, 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 muck. Well, the Melbourne Storm were disappointed in the 38 points they conceded. And I understand that. But some of the credit, well, a lot of the credit has to go to the young Titan spine. Let's roll the footage and have a look at how amazing these guys are. Pete's gets to dummy half consistently very early. Over here, Kane Elgy, Ash Taylor and Tyron Roberts. The combination between these guys and the movement between them, if they continue to work hard, they're going to be an absolute nightmare. Elgy pushed up on the left hand side and as we roll the footage, a late pass there, Pete's gets out and I love this. And so would Joey Johns. Have a look. Stepping off his inside foot, fading away from the defence, getting Munster to sink into him. Puts a lovely little ball on. They did this consistently. Ask questions of the inside shoulder of the Storm. Here, lovely pass out the back. And again, just watch this. All right, we pause that. Look at that footwork from Roberts. It's not often you see Cooper Cronk in a very poor position defensively, sitting back on his... Laurels and he's get, got the, the best defensive centre in the competition to sink in on him in Chambers. 
a little bit of space for Hain. Again, they just went through a process and chipped away and chipped away. Here's a great little bit of skill and interaction between the halves. See Algie over there on the right hand side. I love this pass from Pete's out in front. And what you've got here is Ash Taylor heading outwards. Now watch what he does here. See the defender? He's heading outwards as well and creates some vulnerability back through here. As Soon as he catches the ball, goes off his left. Roll the footage. Ryan James, who's played the ball, gets a lovely little pass off Pete's, gets over the try line. He's very good at that as well, but some great interaction. Spine split both sides. Again, have a look at Pete's here, having a look around, assessing what's going on. Loves that short ball. Again, Algy playing out the back of it. Threats all over the place. This time they line up. He's definitely got to play out the back this time. Look at this. Perfect execution to play out the back. Or is he going to play short to Boyle? Neither. Love this pass from Pete. Sits it out the front. Pulu, bang, scores a try. Again, that comes from the combination between the spine. As we pause it here, I want you to pay attention to the late adjustment of the one and six here. Out the back of Taylor. Pete's again early there. I love how he sets up early, plays square. Again, they play across the face of them. As it disappears, have a look how quickly they've adjusted off the ball again. These guys are running this team. That's why it's called the spine. Young Boyle, absolute nightmare for the Storm. So strong, got some great DNA. Dave Boyle's son, nephew of Jason Croker. And look at that from Pete, some great vision. Conrad Orell, great chase, but again, Pete's comes up with some great play. Have a look at him looking around and assessing what's going on continually. Look at this. You don't think Tyron Roberts knew this kick was coming? Have a look, Ash Taylor gets a perfectly way to kick in. Here's the best positional fullback in the game for such a long time. Very hard to bring him undone. Perfectly executed play. Look at that. That's an amazing bit of footage. And the combination between these young guys is going to go to another level, to another level, if they can keep together.